to stand up against the poison of white supremacy, as I did my inaugural address to a single out as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland, is white supremacy. And I'm not saying this because I'm at a black HBCU. You liar! I say it wherever I go. I am a proud social worker, criminal justice reformer, and an advocate for healing. I have spent the past 20 plus years working with communities most harmed and least protected to help realize safety, justice, and healing. Dad, I tell you this all the time, but I want you to know how proud I am of you. America, you are so lucky to have him as your president. <laughs> I don't know anybody who really, truly works harder for you, for the American people. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the 46th President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden, Jr. As the past few years remind us, our freedoms have been put at risk by racism that's still too powerful a force. You know, I was a kid in the Civil Rights Movement. And I used to think, I honestly believe, that you could defeat hate. But hate only hides. It hides under the rocks. And when given oxygen, just a little oxygen, it comes roaring back out again. And we have to stand up and deny it the oxygen. So Juneteenth, as a federal holiday, is meant to breathe a new life into the very essence of America, to make sure all Americans feel the power of this day and the progress we can make as a country to choose love over hate, unity over disunion, and progress over retreat. Choosing to remember history, not erase it. To read books, not ban them. No matter how hard some people try. That's what's great about it. That's what great nations do. And we're a great nation. We have to choose to be believers in a dream, doers of the world. As the gospel song goes, we've come too far from where we started. Nobody told me the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far, so leave me. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. My fellow Americans, I don't think the Lord brought us this far. The good Lord brought us this far to leave us behind. We just have to remember who we are. We're the United States of America. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we act together. So happy Juneteenth. Bless you all. May God protect our troops. Thank you very much. Let's get the job done. Let's get the job done.